Hey carnivore family, welcome to the channel. This is Amber and Dan's Carnivore Life. I'm Amber, Sam's Dan, he's a physical therapy today. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If uh, For all my subscribers, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. So today is July the 3rd. Um, carnivore Quest started a triple beanie challenge for the month of July uh, with a walking challenge added on to that. So, um, we actually started a day late. So Friday, June 30th was spent uh, prepping for a day trip we took up to Big Bear. I live in California and uh, we were going to pick up my son from summer camp. So that day was spent prepping, get everything ready. So I didn't get any exercise done that day. And then all day Saturday we were gone. We left at about 8.30 in the morning and didn't get home till 9.30 at night. So it was a pretty long day. I did a little bit of hiking, but not enough to break a sweat, okay? <laughs> um, but anyway, so we started the Triple Beanie Challenge a day late. So we actually started um, Sunday, yesterday, July 2nd. Today is the third. Today was actually the first day of walking because um, yesterday was kind of spent relaxing because Saturday just completely exhausted us and um, we were just kind of taking a rest from everything yesterday. Um, I did do my upper body workout with my weights. So what I've been doing is I've been doing it every other day of the week. Um, I'll do my workouts. And um, so I found this new workout and I actually started it last week um, but I'm actually going to do the video vlog of it this week, every day, consistently. Um, so I hope I'm not butchering this word. Some of you have, may have heard of it already. I've seen it all over Instagram and I came across it one day when I was flipping through YouTube. So I figured, okay, I'm going to watch and see how it's done. And then I'm going to give it a try. So here we go. It's called Kiat Judai. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that name right. I hope I am. This exercise is um, abdominal belly exercises. And it's basically like standing sit-ups, but there's different kind of uh, moves that you do to it. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you definitely feel it. Because as you're doing these exercises, you're tightening your core. And let me tell you, it wins you, okay? it's definitely takes the breath out of you. Um, so I did start it last week and I wanted to do a consistent seven day, you know, exercise with it and then see my results at the end of the seven days. But because I didn't do it Friday and Saturday, I'm actually starting over today. So I'm not going to do the measurements on here, but I'm just going to tell you. Um, so you can see here. Okay. We're at the one inch. We're gonna wrap it around. Make sure I don't trip over it. And these pants are pretty, I mean, they're leggings, so I can measure over, over them. Okay, y'all. What's it say? I can't see it. <laughs> I don't have my glasses on. Okay, put my thumb here. So we are at 43 and a quarter inches on my waist. Okay, that's where we're starting at. So 43 and a quarter inches, y'all. But I actually measured my belly and it was 43 and a quarter inches. So I wanted to do the exercise for a consistent seven days and, um, see where my waist was at if it shrunk at all at the end of it but the thing is okay the first day i did the exercises i did great i it's so she does these two minute exercises and then a 15 second rest in between well the first day i did great there was two exercises that i didn't do because i couldn't do them for some reason it was the like rub your head pat your belly kind of deal like it was so so I just did the kind of the hip movements. I didn't do the arm movements that included it. Second day was a little different because uh, 
I believe I did my arm workouts that day and I just could not go through with it. So I did maybe the first three or four exercises and then I stopped. Um, now, in my defense, I'm very out of shape. So it was, um, you know, and then already doing the upper body workout was just a lot that day. So, but I did do some of it. I, you know, I didn't like not do it at all. So I will give myself that, <laughs> uh, give myself some credit. And then the third day, uh, I did them. And so, like I said, they're two minute intervals and I would go for about 30 seconds and then I would have to stop and I would have to give myself a breather for about 10 seconds and then I would go again. I would go through the two minute exercise. I wouldn't skip it, but I had to take a lot of breaks in between. Um, so that was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. The same thing as uh, Wednesday. I had to stop in between exercises and then Friday and Saturday, we were busy and then out of town. So today is the official day that I'm going to, um, record these exercises for you guys. Now, I'm not gonna do all of them because these are 20 minute exercise videos. So I'm not gonna fill up my YouTube channel with these exercises, but I'm just gonna show you the beginning of each one that I do, um, show you the video. I will link the video down below. Um, also, after I started doing this video, I can't, she has another video that she does with different exercises. So I kind of started doing those yesterday, but after doing my arm workout, cause there's a lot of arm movements with these ones, I was dead. So I was like, okay, we're just going to start tomorrow, Monday, fresh, new week. We're good to go. <laughs> so anyway, um, I'm just going to show you guys the beginning of the exercises that she does. And, um, so we're going to do a seven day long video and uh, we're gonna measure my belly at the end of this video. And so before we get started, I have to show you guys something. So a few years ago, we had a um, an in-shape here. If you don't know what an in-shape is, it's basically like a Planet Fitness, blah, blah, blah. But this place had a swimming pool and a sauna and a steam room and a jacuzzi. It had a lot more than just oh, um, you know weights and workout equipment. And they also had a great um, were, uh, room where they did classes for like uh, Zumba and um, you know all those other fitness classes. So anyway, um, when I went to this gym, I started. I bought this belt, and it's a Gold's Gym. It's a sweat belt, and it's adjustable. So it's got four sections where you zip it, so you can get it as snug as you can. So when you sweat, you know you're sweating out all the bad stuff, you know, and trying to get the, the belly slimmer. <laughs> so anyway, when I wore this thing, when I first bought it, I had to put it on the first section. And then I, I don't know, maybe a little while later, I worked up to the second zipper. Never gone past the second zipper. So this morning I dug it out of, it was tucked in the back of my, one of my drawers and I dug it out cause I was like, well, since I'm working out more lately and I'm going to be doing this walking challenge, I'm going to start wearing my belt during walking and workouts. So I went to go put it on and I couldn't believe it. I actually got to the third zipper today. So I'm going to show you guys. It's by Gold's Gym and this is the sections right here. And see, they're good, you know, three, four inches here in between. And I have never gone past, yeah, because here's the first zipper here. One, two, three. I have never gone past, oh, okay, wait a minute. So I've never gone past the third zipper. This is the fourth one, and then the last one's over here. So, I mean, okay, y'all. So, this one right here was the first one that I found, and then this is her newer one. So, I think I'm actually going to do this one today because I haven't done this, this one yet. This is one I tried to do yesterday after an arm workout. I just couldn't hang. 
So anyway, her name is Irene McWeary. Um, I don't know what nationality she is. I couldn't tell if it was an African accent, Jamaican, but um, so I don't know how to pronounce her name. But uh, anyway, so I probably butchered that too. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna do this one today. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna show little clips, at the beginning of each exercise. And I may just show a few of the video, not the whole thing. So anyway, here we go. Tighten your core while you do this and you can really feel it. Hey y'all, it is day six of my Kyatju Dai belly shrinking challenge. Um, so day five, if you notice, the lighting was a little different is because it had been a crazy day and I didn't actually get to the exercise until last, last night. So that's why, but I still did it. I got her done. <laughs> I didn't skip out. So this is the sixth day. Um, just a little heads up. I, when I'm doing this, the cardio, some of, sometimes some of the moves, I start to get chest pains and, um, so I stop in the middle of it and I kind of give myself a break. So I I may or may not be going through the whole exercise today, but I'm gonna do as much as I can for as long as I can. Um, but uh, I really need to get in to see my doctor and you know ask her about that, you know, because I've never been, I've never had a history of heart problems or anything. Um, I was told that my heart does skip a beat sometimes. But you know, just just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna take it easy. But you know, um, as soon as I can get in to see my doctor, I'm gonna get it checked out, make sure everything's good to go. But I did Google it. You know, why do I get chest pains when I exercise? And they said it's normal because the heart is pumping faster. 
uh, but there could also be a blockage as well. So anyway, safety first, right? <laughs> we don't want me keeling over in the middle of an exercise. So anyway, today is day six, so let's get started, y'all. I just can't do it today, y'all. Today is enough for me, so we'll see you tomorrow. Hey, hey, y'all, it's Amber, I'm back. So we are on day seven of the Kyat Do Die exercise challenge. So um, yesterday's video, I had to stop after two exercises. I was getting those chest pains again. So I just decided it was best just to not finish it out. Um, I did do a, my regular workout routine yesterday where I did my upper body and my squats and everything. Um, I just didn't do all of the belly workout. And then another tip I wanted to give you guys. So this is the other video I discovered after starting that first one that I saw of hers. And I feel like this one is more of a beginner workout for the ones who haven't done this particular exercise before after doing this video from doing the other video i realized that the the first video i um discovered was a little more challenged like they're two minute long exercise intervals these are just a minute and there's 15 second rest in between so i feel like if you're a beginner at this i would start with this one um but i will link this one in the description um and I believe this one was it's just like a week old. She just put this one out. The other one is like almost a year old. But I'll put both those video links in the description box so you guys can check those out. Um, but tomorrow is the big reveal if I've lost any inches around my waist. So, All right, y'all. So this next one we've got coming up is one that I haven't shown on the video because... I, <laughs> I lose the rhythm fairly quickly. I try not to watch her because when I watch her, it screws me up. But even when I'm not watching her, I get screwed up. So bear with me. <laughs> like I said, patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. It's one of those type of deals with me. So anyway, here we go. I try to turn this way and not look. Good morning, everybody. So um, today is the day. It's day eight of the um, week-long challenge I did for the Kiat Judai um, belly exercises. And so today we're going to measure the belly to see if I made a difference. Um, now, I don't know what the results are. I trying really hard not to do it, so I didn't do it. I was waiting and the battery died on the phone, so I had to charge it before I could even start filming this um, uh, reveal. So anyway, um, so as you could see through the video, um, 
I wasn't completely consistent with every exercise. Some of them I couldn't do. Um, some days, like the chest pains were a little more than I wanted to deal with, so I had to stop. But um, I did do all seven days. Maybe if I only did a couple exercises, um, maybe I went all the way through with the whole thing. I didn't film the whole thing because it's a 20 minute long video and that would have been a very long video for you guys today. So <laughs> anyway, without any further ado, let's measure the belly and see where we're at. Okay, here we are guys. This is my belly. All right, and now we are going to put the tape around the waist. Let's see where we are. Stop right here. Okay, it looks like we're about the same, 43 and a quarter inches. So we're gonna go another seven days. Um, not going to film this one, but I will um, measure my waist again. And so it'll be 14 days total. And I'm gonna try really hard to um, go the full, full exercise. Okay, so as you guys can see, I my belly didn't shrink really, um, but like I said before, I wasn't completely consistent every day with every exercise because I would get chest pains or there was just some I couldn't do. Um, some of them I would lose the rhythm and I just kind of lost it. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to keep going another seven days. I'm not gonna film the next seven days, but I'm gonna do a full 14 days. I'm gonna try really hard to keep going with every exercise, no matter how difficult it seems to be. But if I do start getting the chest pains, I'll just take a break for a few minutes and then get back into it. Maybe slow down the intensity and see if that helps. So, um, cause I really want to keep going with this, but she does say to do it for 14 days. So I'm going to go another seven days and, um, I'll do a measurement reveal at the end of that, uh, at the end of this week. So, um, anyway, thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out the door because I really need to grow this channel. I really, really want to grow this channel um, so we can get some more people to see this lifestyle and how it works for everyone and just the great benefits it's been doing for everybody. So anyway, I love you all. God bless. And thank you all so much for being here with me on this journey. And we will see you in the next video. Love ya. Hey y'all, so I just wanted to add a little bonus onto the video real quick. So um, it's a, just a few days shy of a month of my string measuring. So let's see if I've even made a difference. So um, I forgot to mention, I'm actually in my fourth month on carnivore. Um, so we did the April triple beanie challenge and then May went full carnivore, went off of ketivore. And then we had like this week long carb bender y'all know about that and then all month of june i've been carnivore i cut out the dairy and then today is july 10th i think and um still going strong so let's see if my belly has shrunk since the last measurement on june the 13th so we're gonna do this live right now okay give here so I have enough room to wrap it around. Where's the end of it? Can't find the end of it, y'all. There it is. Okay. Cut it right there. All right. OK, 
Hey guys. You're gonna watch me tape this to the wall here. And let's see. All right. Make sure we're even. The rest of them. Here we go, it's the big stretch. We get you a little bit closer. Sorry about the shadowing in here, y'all. Okay, can you see? Let's bring her down. Okay, hold on, let me turn y'all around. Look at that, guys. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is exciting. Okay, so uh, January, February, March, April, I skipped May, June, July. Okay. Is this an NSV or what, y'all? Oh, I'm so excited. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, this just made my whole day, y'all. So anyway, hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love ya. Keep going. Remember, it is 99% mental. You just need that extra 1% for effort, okay? So keep going, y'all. I love ya. We'll see you in the next one.